hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we're going to focus on a solving an equation but we're specifically looking at case six that involve an equation containing brackets so let's look at our first example so example one we have three times 2x minus 1 is greater than 6. So note that the bracket implies multiplication. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to remove the bracket. We can remove the bracket by applying the distributive property, which states that whatever term that is on the outside of the bracket, we should use it to multiply each term inside of the bracket. So we're going to do that for step one. So note there that as you can see, we have distributed three to each term inside of the bracket, right? So we don't need to write a multiplication sign because the bracket implies multiplication. So where I have three bracket two X, that means three times two X and three bracket one means three times one, right? So what we're going to do in our next step is to simplify what we have there. So when we simplify, you can see that three times two X will give us six X and negative three times one would give us a negative three. And we put back what we have here, which is just our greater than sign and our six. At this stage, what are we going to do? Remember our objective is to to isolate x or the variable by itself. So here, note that we are subtracting three from six x. So that means we need to transfer this three to the other side. We can do that by doing the opposite operation, which is to add three to both sides. How would we state this? We would state this as six x minus three x plus three greater than six plus three. At this stage, what we're going to do is to simplify that. And when we simplify, we're going to end up with six X is greater than nine. As you can see here, six plus three gives us nine and minus three plus three, that's zero and zero plus six X will give us six X. So at this stage, we're going to observe our inequation. We know that six is being used to multiply our variable. So in order to transfer this six to the other side, we can do the opposite, which is to divide both sides by six. So that is going to be our next step. How would we state this? We would state this as six X all over six greater than nine all over six. The next step, we are going to simplify and when we simplify, that will give us our solution. So note, 6x over 6 will give us x, and 9 over 6 will give us 3 halves. Therefore, our solution is x greater than 3 halves. We can also write 3 halves as a mixed number, as just 1 and 1 half. So therefore, our solution set is the set of all x values such that x is greater than one and a half. Example two, note the difference between example two and example one. Example two, we were just given one bracket. Sorry, example one, we were just given one bracket and one side. Example two, we have two brackets. Now, does the principle change? No, it remains the same. So our step one is to apply the distributive law to remove the bracket, right? So that's what we're going to do for step one, which is to take the four to distribute to each term in this bracket and take the two to distribute to each term. In other words, we're going to take the two to multiply each term inside of the bracket and take the four to multiply each term inside of the bracket. As you can see demonstrated here, we have four times three X plus four times one is less than two times X minus two times three. Our next step is to simplify. So when we simplify, you can see that 
4 times 3x, that will give us 12x. 4 times 1, that will give us 4. And 2 times x, that will give us 2x. And negative 2 times 3 will give us negative 6. So what are we going to do at this stage? Note at this stage, we have x term on both sides and we have constant term on both sides. What we want to do, we want to group the like terms on one side. So we're going to group the x term on the left and then group the constant term on the right. So if we want to group the, the x term on the left, we would note that we have 12x already on the left. So our focus would be this positive 2x. How can we transfer this positive 2x to the left? We can do that by doing the opposite operation, which is to subtract 2x from both sides. How would we state this? We would state this as 12x minus 2 plus 4 less than 2x minus 2x minus 6. Then at this stage, we are going to simplify. When we simplify, we would end up with 10x plus 4 less than negative 6. Now we are going to group the constant on the right. So note here we have a plus 4 on the left. So in order to transfer this plus 4 to the right, we are going to do the opposite of adding 4, which is to subtract 4 from both sides. How would we state this? We would state this as 10x plus 4 minus 4 less than or equal, sorry, less than 6 minus 4. And then at this stage, we are going to simplify. So when we simplify, note that 4 minus 4 is 0 and 0 plus 10x is just 10x. And minus 6 minus 4 will give us minus 10. So at this stage, we have 10x as the subject, but we want x to be the subject. So how can we transfer this thing to the other side? We can do that by doing the opposite of multiplying by 10, which is to divide both sides by 10. How would we state this? We would state this as 10x all over 10 less than negative 10 all over 10. Then at this stage, we are going to simplify and that will give us our solution. So when we simplify, note that we will end up with x is less than negative 1. So hence, our solution set is the set of all x values such that x is less than negative 1. Let's look at our third example. So our third example. Here, we now have brackets, two brackets on one side. Does the principle change? No, it doesn't. So the first step, we're going to apply our distributive law to remove the brackets. So here, note that we're going to take six to multiply each term in the first bracket. Then we're going to take minus three to multiply each term in the second bracket. So that will give us 6 times 2x plus 6 times 3 minus 3 times x minus 3 times negative 2 is greater than 6. Then our next step is to simplify. So when we simplify, we'd end up with 12x. As you can see, 6 times 2x, that's just 12x. And 6 times 3, that's just 18. And a negative 3 times x will give us negative 3x. And a negative 3 times a negative 2 will give us a positive 6. And we put back our symbol and put back our 6. At this stage, what we're going to do, if you notice, on the left-hand side, we have what is called like terms. We have x terms, which are like terms, as color-coded here in purple. And then we have constant term, which are like terms. So that means we can combine those terms to give us one single term. So when we combine 12x minus 3x, that will give us 9x. And when we combine 18 plus 6, that will give us 24. So now we'll have 9x plus 24 greater than 6. 
At this stage, we have constant on both sides, but we want the constant term to be only on one side. So we can transfer this positive 24 to the right-hand side by subtracting 24 from both sides. How would we state this? We would state this as 9x plus 24 minus 24 greater than 6 minus 24. Then at that stage, you are going to simplify. So when you simplify, you would end up with 9x greater than negative 18. Now, we only have one step to go. So note that 9 is used to multiply x. So the opposite of multiplying by 9 is to divide both sides by 9. All right? When we divide both sides by 9, what we'll end up with is just 9x all over 9 greater than negative 18 all over 9. We're going to simplify, and that will give us our solution. So when we simplify, that will give us x is greater than negative 2. Hence, the solution set is the set of all x values such that x is greater than negative 2. Let's look at our final example. So now we have example 4, which states that 5x minus 3 times x minus 3 is less than 6. Right? Note we have a bracket. So the first thing we need to do is to get rid of these brackets or to remove the bracket. I'm going to remove the bracket by applying the distributive law. So if we apply the distributive law, we're going to take that minus 3 to distribute it to the x and also the negative 3. In other words, use it to multiply each term inside of the bracket. So note, the first thing that we'll do is to keep our 5x because we are not troubling our 5x. So we would end up with 5x minus 3 times x minus 3 times negative 3 is less than 6. Then at this stage, you are going to simplify. When you simplify, you will end up with 5x minus 3x plus 9 is less than 6. Because as you can see here, negative 3 times x, that will give us a minus 3x. And negative 3 times a negative 3, that will give us a positive 9. At this stage, what we're going to do is to combine the like terms. So note that we have 5x and we have minus 3x. Those are like terms. That means they can be combined to give us one term. So 5x minus 3x, that will give us 2x. Put back our plus 9, put back our sign, and put back our positive 6. At this stage, note that we have constant term on both sides. So we want to group the constant term on one side. So we are going to transfer this positive 9 over to where 6 is by doing the opposite of adding 9, which is to subtract 9 from both sides. And we will state that as 2x plus 9 minus 9 less than 6 minus 9. Then at this stage, all you need to do is to simplify. So note here, 9 minus 9 will give us 0, and 0 plus 2x will leave us with 2x. Note that 6 minus 9 will give us a negative 3. So to isolate the variable by itself, note that this 2 is used to multiply x. So we need to do the opposite of multiplying by 2 to transfer it to the other side, which is to divide both sides by 2. And we will state that as 2x all over 2 less than negative 3 all over 3. All we need to do at this stage is to simplify, and that would give us our solution, which is x is less than negative one and one half. All right. Note that I have five here, but that's just an error. That just should be two. Thank you for watching and do enjoy the rest of your day.